Hello everyone. This is Lori from Grammy's Keepsakes and let's collage some manila file folder and make a couple of tags to go in our Monster for Sammy journal. So I just have a, a piece of a scrap of manila file folder here and just some leftover book pages from our last project. So let's just glue them on and see what happens. I have my um, glue book over here to my right. And this great big piece of music, I'm just gonna glue the whole thing. Get a good base. Nothing fancy, just we got it covered. And so I know where I am. I'm just going to go ahead and trim it a little bit. Put that aside. Burnish it down, make sure that my edges are stuck. Okay. Oh, got all kinds of stuff stuck to my table, don't I? Okay, it'll work. We're good. So I've got some dictionary page here. Let's just give it a rip. and glue some on. Not fancy, just cover the paper. Here I've got some chemistry and physics equations. Give that edge a rip so I don't have any straight edge. Oh, glue, get my, my sides mixed up. And I've got some green paper here. I'm going to grab the tear ruler. Give it a little bit of an edge. I'm sticking. Let's glue that down, but I'm going to rip a chunk out of it and just put it over there. Boy, that glue is some good stuff sticks to the table and everything. Let's 
So I pretty much have the paper covered. So now we can just have some fun and add a few more layers here and there because we have a base. And I have a napkin. So let's go ahead and and cut some of this. Well, I'll rip some of it away. I'm just using a water pen, getting it wet. And just pulling some edges off of it. So, let's see if I can get this glued down without a total disaster gently does it with the glue stick. So far, so good. Cross your fingers. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't, oh well, we tried. It's just paper. fingers a little bit. Let's break up this music a little bit. How big is this scrap? think I'm gonna go with it over there and then I drop it on the floor let's grab it and I'm gonna go with this side Let's cover up the handbook. No, let's not. Let's leave it. That's looking good so far. 
What else do I have on my scraps? Well, you know, let's just cut it up and go from there. So I'm going to make my tags. Where did my ruler go? I'm going to go ahead and cut six inches here. I want my tags to be six inches long or tall. So I've got this. And how wide? This is six and three quarters. Let's make our tags three inches wide. We got two tags. And what we can do, let's go ahead and cut this into a tag also. Three, three inches by six. There, we've got three tags. They're all the same, but very different. And we need to cut our tops up here. So I'm just going to stack them all up. And I'm going to use a tag and just copy the corner. So now I have my tag shapes. And I've got something to decorate them here with. Let's grab a two and a half inch circle punch and here we go. I've got some botanical gardening book paper. Let's cut a circle. It's just text on the back. That gets lost on there, so let's not do that. Let's leave that there, and let's put this on here. I like how that almost looks like a label already, doesn't it? And I've got some purpley bordered labels here. And that will work on that. Let's do that. And where are my pretty flowers again? Let's check it out. No. Here's a cutout of that flower there, like a crocus. That... Did 
doesn't look right though. It's so pretty with that napkin that oh no the the yellow contrast looks good on there. Let's see if we have any others that look good. Too small. Nope. This was it. I like that on there. It needs a label though, maybe not that one. Here we've got That little tiny label is much better. And for this one, maybe what we'll do is stamp our label on it. Let's find some black ink. There we go. We have our label. Yes. I love my new stamp. I got two of them from the Signet Stamps. They um, custom make stamps. And here I've got two labels. I love them. Can use them on anything and everything. And you're only limited by what color ink you have. So that will work. Let's put that away. And let's find some stamps. I love me some stamps. dig about and make a mess. I like that one too. Ooh, this dark one from the Netherlands. I like that. No, I don't. It's too small. How about the Fort Sumter? That blends in. A lot of pretty blue ones. Okay. Let's gather this up before I make a mess. How about this green one? No, I like Fort Sumter. No? Okay. Here. 
I've got a basket. Let's just throw them in. Look at that pretty yellow one. Precious cargo. Okay. Let's take a look at these. See if I've got something I want to use instead. I like that big Nicaragua stamp. The color on that is good with these daisies. And I'm still liking the green on there. And that dark one from Posta Romana looks good. Let's try out this Canadian stamp and see how that one no okay and in my stamp book see if I have any purples I want to try I thought I had pages and pages of purple, but apparently not. Green and blue. A few purples here and there, but I like what I have instead. Oh, here we've got some fun purple. No, the Nicaragua one's going to stay. No, okay. Uncle, right? Let's glue it on and call it good. Super easy decorate with just some shapes.
my baby wipe is getting dried out. Then we'll punch a hole in it, stitch around it. We have journaling on the back, ink it a little bit, and call it good. Let's take a look at this. This one's super simple. We, we stamped our label. So let's glue our circle. And it looks like I have a flat edge up there at the top. 